tips to be done prior to the day of surgery. Good morning, thank you, Adolf. So, we talk a lot about overall management of these patients, preoperative assessment, uh, medical management. Uh, the big cornerstones of what we do, however, are the surgery itself and the anesthesia. And the surgery involves preoperative planning, so my job is to discuss what we do in that realm. Certainly, if we do a nice operation, we can minimize uh, pain management by minimizing pain. We can minimize rehabilitation issues by minimizing soft tissue injury. Cal uh, performing a precise operation on the day of surgery is critically important, but many of the planning aspects can be done in advance. With respect to the knee, we all have the same goals that we want to accomplish with a well-aligned, well-balanced uh, knee with good range of motion with telephenyl tracking. A couple of those variables can be planned preoperatively, although all of them can be done intraoperatively. But alignment and sizing can be planned in advance. I'll just show you what I do now. I have about a 17-year experience using navigation routinely, but uh, for the outpatient in particular, I think it's very easy to um, uh, use patient-specific blocks. So our choices are traditional instruments, patient-specific blocks, navigation, or navigation with robotics. For outpatient surgery, I do think this is quite simple. The whole team knows what implants you're going to use, uh, and you know what the issues are anatomically in advance, so you can minimize the sterilization issues, and you can go straight toward your operative goal. Uh, the main thing from my point of view is that you can avoid intermedullary instruments and decrease the bleeding in the knee and the risk of fat embolism, uh, but of course you have to do traditional balancing with this kind of technology. In terms of the hip, uh, the things that I do preoperatively assess the uh, leg length difference, look at the spine pelvis relationship in a diff few different ways, and plan the surgery in a lot of detail in 2D and 3D to show you how we do that. If there's a big question about leg length, I certainly would routinely get a scanogram in a patient like that. Uh, what we do is CT based planning on a routine basis, create 3D models, uh, set up coordinate systems, plan component sizing for the uh, socket and the femur. We know the femoral antiversion issue is what we're going to do there. The whole team knows exactly the implant sizes that we're going to use and we can uh, plan our leg length change and offset change very precisely in advance. And then we can use smart tools uh, to accomplish the uh, cup alignment and uh, leg length change. So this just shows uh, routine outpatient surgery. Um, I use a superior hip approach, but any really great technique works for outpatient surgery. Prepare the femur in situ, remove the head, ream the socket, use a patient-specific uh, device for alignment. Once the cut is in, we do our uh, trial reduction and uh, check to see that it's fully stable and then go ahead and put the real implants in and close the uh, capsule anatomically. Nice thing about this is that the hip is stable uh, and the incision uh, and dissection are limited. So here the patient is coming out of the room at 10.50. You see the patient gets up as soon as their spinal wears off. And uh, here we are with the patient leaving two hours and five minutes afterwards, which is our actually our length of stay out of surgery is two hours and 10 minutes on average and get the patient's home two and a half hours after being in the OR. So with preoperative planning, you can allow yourself to do what would potentially be more complex reconstructions in the outpatient setting. Here's a, a failed PAO with hardware, and we can be quite convinced that we're not going to get into hardware removal issues or specialized equipment, and then we can do um, outpatient surgery on patients that have had uh, multiple previous operations. So in summary, the more the procedure can be planned in advance, the more you can focus on executing the surgery itself without focusing on doing planning while you're doing the surgery. And the better technique and precision uh, you can do in surgery, and the more that is planned in advance, uh, the more successful you can be. Thank you very much.